Hey guys, so we're going to work backwards through something that I just found online. Um, there's a company that wants to make you um, have more people come and visit your church and they're going to walk you through how to get a $10,000 grant from Google. The logo for Google that has to do with the churches is a Chevron made out of three circles with two lines that are connecting it. That's almost the same as the three stars that the Masons are following or the three dots that are the guy out to the, the Kabbalistic Trinity instead of the scriptural, what would be considered Trinity even though God says that I am one, but we're going to walk backwards through this company's imagery and I'm going to show you them hiding another 666 using the two V's, making it into the W. We're starting off with this guy. His hat it is a triangle and it's got seven rays coming out of it and the seven rays have to do with the great white brotherhood of light, the seven ascended masters, the top of Freemasonry. This guy is using one-eyed symbolism. This next one, uh, I haven't gone down yet. Okay, so he was the last one that's on the list. So, this guy. See how he's got his thumbs like that? Those are two square and compass. That is him saying he is a Freemason. That is a very specific Freemason logo that he is making by making two left angles, two chevrons. Hand on the hip, and then she does the tongue out. In scripture, there's something that's called, I believe, the maw, M A. H, possibly. It's something where it says that you're not supposed to stick out your tongue, and it's the whole reason why people like the Rolling Stones and all those guys use the tongue sticking out as a sign of rebellion. That's basically what this girl is doing. For, they're switching from one thing to the next. This guy is showing his vanity, and he's doing one eyed symbolism. This is the CEO. Founder and brand warrior. Warrior is a very common word inside Freemasonry, and that is another horned devil sign. So, this is our meet our team. Okay. Inside their own literature, they keep doing their W's like this. This is Kabbalistic magic, the same as what Hitler was doing for the Volkswagen logo. This is a 666. We've covered this in many videos lately, showing all the Kabbalists that are doing this. This is hidden in plain sight. This is hermetic magic, and that's what this group is doing. So, reach right. We want to help your church grow. We are a team of local church pastors and communications experts. Passionate about one thing, helping your church grow. Church marketing isn't easy. The church leaders already have a ton on their plate. That's why we found ReachRight, a digital marketing agency focused on helping the local church. Back in 2013, I was pastoring a very small church, and we saw almost no visitors ever. Then I heard about this Google grant, and it sounded at first too good to be true. Maybe you've heard of That Google logo is a Chevron. 
about it. Google gives a grant to churches that's worth $10,000 every single month that you can use for free ads on their platform. I know, sounds too good to be true, but I applied and we got it and it actually worked. We went from seeing almost no visitors ever to averaging 13 to 14 visitors every single week. This was so world changing for my small church that at my company, ReachRight, we decided to help churches apply for and start getting the Google grant. But before you do any of that, you need to figure out if your church is even eligible. Most churches are, but here's how you can know for sure. We built an eligibility checker that'll take you about 90 seconds, fill it out, and you'll find out once and for all if your church can qualify. Okay, so this is where it starts being telling also. So they're still using their 666s right here. It says, we have served over 600 churches worldwide. The Assemblies of God is where Bethel came from. And their A for the Assemblies is a Chevron. The G is the Freemason G. The Assemblies of God is the Assemblies of the Fallen Angels. That's why they have this threefold flame as their logo. Southern Baptist Convention is very notorious for being Freemasons. Do you see the Globe Earth programming? Do you see how they have the line going through the circle? Remember how we've been covering that in the last few videos? There, This very specifically has to do with Freemasonry. That's what that logo is right there, is completely Freemason. United Methodist, I guess I should probably look into that. I went to the church for a few months when I was four years old. I remember which church it was in Reading, but I don't know their Masonic ties. The Ark, I don't know what Masonic ties they have. And the Foursquare Church, we've already got a short video about them. But I was at one of the founders of the Foursquare Church their family, the White family, had a house down in Big Bear, California, and when the family passed away, I went down and cleaned out the house, and I got to read a bunch of the documentation from the turn of the century. I had awards from like 19, I think 13 or 23 or something like that, from the kids going to their church camps and that kind of stuff. I had the documentation from inside the Foursquare Church. I know that you can be able to go and pull up Foursquare and how it connects to Freemasonry. It's the left angle, the left angle, the left angle, the four cardinal directions, the don't make any um, any graven images. See how there's the five-pointed crown? That's a common thing inside Freemasonry. You're either going to see the three-pointed crown or the five-pointed crown, and it's everywhere inside the New Apostolic Reformation because they are Freemasons. This is how easy it is to see the occultists and how the occultists work together to be able to fleece the flock. I love you guys. I'm keeping it short. Come out of the Babylonian cults that are called New Apostolic Reformation, including the Assemblies of God, including all of the charismatic stuff, all of them. I love you. Come out of Babylon.